If you're a visual person, that's the cool thing about a topwater bite. You get to see that fish eat the lure. You know, I love any kind of fishing, but it, it is, you know, from little kids to people who fished their entire life, nothing beats a great topwater bite. It is just so awesome to see those fish eat that bait. We're in North Texas this week. It's post-spawn. It's early post-spawn. Tail end of the spawn right now. Still some fish garden fry hanging around the beds and we're topwater fishing. And it is by far one of the, my favorite and the best times of year to throw a topwater bait. You know, so what we got here, we got kind of some unique conditions in that it's late spring we're dealing with fish that are, you know, that just come off the bed and some of these fish spawned probably a month ago. Uh, but what we got is a cold front. And, uh, but the good thing is we're fishing during the cold front, clear water, a lot of vegetation, you know, it's just perfect. It's setting up perfect conditions for a top water bait. And you're thinking cold front and a top water, but the deal is it's one of those situations that will get these fish to feed. And, uh, when you're dealing with water as clear as we got, like that top water is going to be my number one choice because it's cloudy, those fish should be up in the water column, not on the bottom today. And uh, you, know, you know, things will change by tomorrow, you know, it'll be bluebird and the sun will be out and it'll be slick. But right now we just got really good conditions and we're fixing to show them that topwater bait. Now I'm gonna start this morning with a KVD popper. And the reason for that is a lot of times when these fish first come off the bed like this, they are, they are still in that defensive mode, even though they're not spawning, they still have that defensive mode and that popper is slower. You're not trying to get a reaction bite. You're actually trying to make these fish mad. And so let's see if we can't make some of them mad. So I kind of think they'd like it stop and go this morning a little bit. A little, a little starter bass to get us started. But did you see how there was like, like no blow up just, and that's pretty, uh, pretty normal you know for a uh, throwing that popper like you don't get a lot of bit like a lot of times when you get a big blow up on this bait they're just being defensive and they won't even get it like typically when they're eating it it's just they just come up and suck it they know it's not going to get away this is so there you go this is big in there so that fish there is exactly like the last one. He was in that drain, you know, just that place where that grass is. And that's how you can, I'm fixing to show you how you can tell if you're throwing the right bait or not. The best way to tell if you got the right lure on there is how the fish eats it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he really likes what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it out. But you notice it was really not a huge blow up and how they can eat that bait like that because it's, you know, it's sitting still when they get it. It just gives them an opportunity to uh, to swallow it. So you, now that's a post-spawn female. You know, she's completely spawned out. You can tell how, her, you know, she's been up there 
how everything she's rough looking. I mean, she's a pretty fish built wise, but she has uh, been getting after it. But again, just in those cracks, you know? And I'm still experimenting, I'm still keeping them honest. I'm throwing out over the grass, but she come right in the drain. You know, when I catch a male fish, right now it doesn't mean as much. You know what I mean? Like that male fish can be anywhere. He can still be lingering around up shallow or whatever. I catch one of those females like that, it tells me a little more. And there's a chance I could catch multiple fish, you know, throwing in the same place. It's just nice to have that big line. So that fish is trying to go in that grass. Now he's hooked on the outside, but he's still hooked well. A little healthier fish. A big mate. So the one thing that they should actually put in every package of a Strike King lure is a good pair of pliers because you're gonna need them. But a nice fish. You, you liked that, didn't you? Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> you know, I went out this morning, I rigged up two top water baits. I rigged up a sexy dog and I rigged up a KVD popper. I knew I'd be leaning towards the popper because this time of the year and these fish, the, the mood that they're in, typically the popper is the top water that gets it done first right after the spawn. Like I said, I tied on the sexy dog, I never had to use it. I kept that popper in my hand all day long. And that's the other cool thing about this time of the year, it's one of those few times of the year where you can throw a top water from daylight till dark. You know, actually middle of the day, late afternoon, you know, way before the, when the sun was still high, by far the best time. So I didn't think that fish was going to bite. I actually saw that fish wake out there and it took him a while to, to be enticed. Maybe he didn't know whose name was on that popper. He got close enough, he saw that KVD emblem on there. He was like, that's the one. I mean, just wear a pair of pliers completely out. They ought to come with a holster. Like you ought to get a plier holster. So you quick draw with, that, with every strike king lure. that I watched her swimming up behind it you know that's the cool thing about that popping bait this time of the year you can it's they just don't like it around they just don't like it around it just I mean them beggings like it see that just goes back to a good pair of sunglasses I saw that fish and I can tell by being able to see her I can tell by what mood she's in you know I can visually move that bait the way it needs to be moved. It's, it's, it's like, you know, sight fishing with a piece of plastic, but they want to guard up, you know, after they get through spawning. Because bluegill, that's their number one nemesis. And that's just what makes that popper so good because it just does such a great job. It, it actually looks like a fish, a small fish, you know, eating bass fry. And those fish are just still really defensive right now, right after they get through spawning and it's hard to beat. That was so cool. I watched that fish come up and just, just get him a little. Have I mentioned my pliers? Some male fish. Oh, God! Oh, oh, that got my attention. Give me chills. Oh, this is good. There was not even a blow up when that fit. This is a tiny bowl. And I mean, it's a nice one. 
Oh yeah, it is a nice one. I'm beginning to think that I don't need pliers. I'm gonna need a surgeon. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? But no, that's, that's, that's what's so awesome about this. No blow up, just a little bowl. And I mean, it's in the crushers, big line. It's a huge key to that deal is being able to handle those, you know, being able to handle those fish and keep them up. If you notice, I don't really play with them. I mean, I'm, once I figure out where they're hooked at, I, 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 then I know if I need to try to keep the fish down or I just need to try to keep it out of the grass. Now, you know, I did a couple different deals today. You know, we, we started off fishing outside grass lines. It seemed like holes, you know, anywhere there was a hole in the grass, whether it was created by a drain, you know, a little deeper water that ran up in through those grass flats. And then later on this afternoon, I got on an inside edge. Those fish just didn't seem to want to be over top of the grass. They wanted to be around it. Whoa. That looks like a better one there. What's in that grass? I think I see the bait on the side of the big male. I will get down here. Nice one. Nice one. So aggressive. But you, that's just a big male. So I don't know. A Strike King Ort to, um, you know, put a pair of pliers with every KVD popper they sell, you know, in the package or get a discount out of the emergency room because sometimes you need a surgeon to get the hook out of. You know, basically I started off this morning with a, you know, a slower retrieve and that seemed to be the deal. Really the big thing was I just needed to speed the bait up a little bit. And uh, I found out like later on this afternoon that one of the big keys was, was the instant that bait touched the water, I needed to move it. And not give, ever give that chance a fish to look at that bait sitting dead still. Fish have such great eyesight and it just seemed like as long as I could keep it moving, it would entice them to eat it. You know, another big key to that bait is that feathered treble hook on the back because 90% of the fish that eat that bait, they come from behind it. You know, you very seldom, you know, they're not looking at the head, they're looking at the tail. Now we got it. He's hooked outside. Of I don't know, I just, that, I think the, uh, you know, that weather is affecting them. That's a little chunk there. It's kind of a different looking fish from, a lot of those females have come out of that ditch, right out of the drain. You, you hear that a lot in Texas, talk about drains. All the lakes in Texas have their reservoirs and you just, you know, the drain is basically, you know, their dry weather branches. Hey. You know, another big misconception that people have, topwater fishing, if they don't see any activity on the surface, they don't think fish are coming to the surface. But that's such a big misconception because so many times that, you know, topwater fishing is so good and you won't see any activity. But there's just hardly not a better post-spawn topwater bait than a popper. Now, a couple weeks from now, a sexy dog will be su such a better, you know, because they'll be chasing then, feeding back up. But right now, it's just like they don't want to chase but yet they'll come up and eat that bait. And it's an easy, if you watch, you know, just like that last one, there's no blow up. She knows it's not gonna get away. That sound is drawing her attention. And then when she comes up there, it's just, it's easy. So she, like a trout rising when they get it. There he is, it's a big. I don't think he's hooked that good though. That red mouth on that papa. I can see that bait, so how well she's hooked. Come on over here. Come on over here. Yes, yes, yes indeed. Now that's a female that's up there, hanging around. She only had the back hook, but she had it in a nice way.
Ta-da! God, is this good or not? Did I say this was fun? Did I mention that? And just nice ones. Another nice male fish. It doesn't matter what part of the country you're in, where you live at, the bite that we had today happens everywhere from new york to california to texas louisiana when those fish are in that mood and it's that period of time when either they just finished spawning or they're finishing up spawning just nothing beats that popper topwater bait cool. oh, that's a good one there I was just saying about the ones I really like. Kind of nasty. Maybe got a, just maybe got, well, it looks like it's just got one nasty side. Ooh, okay, and then they just swarming everywhere. You know, the deal is I'm fixing to start practice for a tournament in two days you know here in north texas you know just being on the water i've been on the water the last couple of days and really helps me i've caught fish in different ways and probably honestly both of the ways that i've caught fish the last couple of days will not be a factor you know in the lake i'm going to but what it does it just catching fish makes you confident you know in theory this should really help me because it had been a week since the last time i fished you know i've caught a lot of fish the last couple of days and i feel good about it i enjoy it I love the fish. Cool. Look at that. Got you that time, sucker. I know it's the same fish. And she eat it that time. That's a big one. <clears throat> I just had to keep tricking her. I didn't think I stuck her very much that first time, so I thought there might be a chance that she might come come back. She kind of old big mouth, didn't she? Look around. Just another fine specimen post bomb. Like that, big and. another prime example of a late spawn pop up it. I mean, look how they just, every one of them just eat it. Eat it. I gotta be careful about putting my hands in their mouth because it's just full of hooks. I mean. Late spring, depending on what part of the country you're in, just pick you up a popper and go to the bank. It just don't get any better than this. I mean, my... Just another prime example of an early post-spawn popper fish. So, if you picked up anything today, regardless of what part of the country you're in, it happens weeks apart, but it happens everywhere. There's not a lake in the country that this bite doesn't go down. Right after those fish laid in the spawn and they get finished. Wow. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Because it has been a blast.